Hey everyone, last week I did a video comparing the um, growth of mining from um, of silver and of gold using the data from the Silver Institute and Gold Institute's ten, last 10 years. As you can see here, this is the silver one. And here is the gold one. I'll provide links down below so you guys can actually check out the reports if you want to check out the reports. But basically the conclusion in that video was that silver um, actually is growing slower than gold as far as coming out of the ground. That uh, the silver mining over the last 10 years had an increase of 24% while the gold actually had an increase of 32%. So I wanted to take a deeper dive into that and look into why that may be. And I come across some uh, pretty interesting stuff. So I wanted to get some more uh, data points to figure out what's really going on here. And what I did was I actually I calculated out the gold to silver um, ratio being pulled out of the ground. You know, back you know 30 years ago it was around 10, then it got to around 9. Well, in 2007 that ratio is actually 8.63. And uh, you, you get that basically just dividing how much gold is coming out of the ground compared to how much silver. And actually I changed the tons for those of you who saw my last uh, my last video. I changed the tons to ounces just so we can compare compare the two metals a little bit better. I don't know why. Some people ask like why do they uh, uh, measure gold in metric tons and silver in troy ounces. And I don't have a good answer for you. I'm not sure. But um, this will this will all make it look a little more clear as to uh, the comparison. So in 2007, for every one ounce of gold pulled out of the ground, they pulled 8.63 ounces of silver. 10 years later, that has actually fallen. Um, it's fallen almost a half an ounce. It's, uh, it's fallen to only pulling 8.16 ounces of silver out of the ground, so a decrease of 5.4%. And I found some uh, pretty good charts that I want to show you on, I believe, why that is. So this is a... This is a uh, a picture that I got from the SRS Rocco report if you guys don't know that he actually has a YouTube channel as well I advise you go check it out he has some excellent videos but this right here is actually is over well it looks like 11 years and he tracked how much the top seven silver company productions and their average yields for how much ore they had mined and so back in 2005 for every ton of ore that they processed, they were getting 13 ounces of silver. And you can see how that's fallen, 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 and it's fallen all the way down. They don't have they don't have one for 2017 yet, but for 2016 it was at an all-time low of 7.4 troy ounces. It's almost in half from 11 years ago. What that means is now they have to produce, they have to um, process almost two tons of ore to get the same amount of silver as they used to be able to get it in just one ton. So let's uh, compare that to gold and, and see what's going on with the gold. Okay, so here's the gold one, which, which uh, includes the top four gold miners, uh, which include Barrick, Newmont, Anglo Gold, and Gold Corp. So all the big boys. Uh, and as you can see here, this actually goes back 12 years. This actually does have 2017, which is nice. But you can see gold yields are also falling, so they do have to produce more tons as well but it's nowhere near the amount that you saw with silver. So they went from 1.57 down to 1.26. So yeah, I think that's pretty much the main reason why you're seeing gold production growing faster as a percentage than the silver side is. It's because um, the silver ore grades are falling a lot faster than the gold ones. Now that's not to say that you know silver can't start picking up as far as them catching up to uh, the increases that gold has had, but at these prices, you know them having to um, process almost two times the amount of ore they had to just you know 11 years ago. Uh, at these prices, I don't think that it makes any sense for them to do that. So, not saying that uh, you know that, that silver is going to be ultra rare or whatnot, but. If they want more silver to get pulled out of the ground per year, they're going to have to uh, start getting that price up a little bit more. So it's economical for these companies to do so. But anyways, all right, guys, I just wanted to share that data with you. Found it pretty interesting myself, and uh, I'm pretty sure you guys would as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I should have some more videos for you guys soon. Thanks for watching.